Have you ever looked up at the vast, expansive night sky and thought to yourself, man, it would be absolutely great to add some drones here to draw a detailed portrait of Shrek? That's exactly how drone shows are created. Today we're going to take a peek behind the scenes of this magic, find out how it all works, who the people are behind the process, and what it actually takes to create a real art gallery in the sky. This performance in the sky makes people pull out their phones, shoot stories, and write things like, oh my god, I'm seeing this for the first time in my life, this is amazing. A drone show is 10 minutes of real magic, where each quadcopter acts as a separate light bulb. A drone show can be anything. Draw your logo, your portrait, write in the sky, I love you, or will you marry me? Anything you want? Of course, if you have the budget, a drone show can be at any scale, starting from 100 drones at your wedding or birthday that form hearts or congratulations, to tens of thousands of drones that can create a figure the size of a whole house, a stadium, or even two stadiums. Just huge, incredible, and amazing shapes. So who creates drone shows? In fact, behind every performance, there is an enormous team, a lot of people. We have engineers who create drones, fine-tune them, make them fly without errors, don't crash into each other, and don't disappoint the customer. We have animators who actually draw those very shapes, pictures, images, and abstractions that you see in the sky and that everyone enjoys so much. And we also have pilots whose job is to manage all of this, making sure that nothing crashes into anything and that nothing falls. Do you think parking is difficult? Try parking 500 drones in a perfect circle. How is the process of creating a show organized? It all starts with an idea. For example, you might think, I want a huge dancing cake in the sky. Why not? Next, the designers turn all of this into animation. The next step is to program the drones. We take the animation created by the designers and translate it into a flight plan for the drones. What exactly is a flight plan for drones? Each drone must know precisely at any given moment in time where it should be in the airspace. Left, right, up, down, or even diagonally. And besides, it also needs to understand what color it should be and how long each color should last. You know what's frustrating? In order for you to absolutely enjoy this beauty, a real thriller must completely unfold behind the scenes. First, you need to thoroughly prepare the site, sweep it, and make sure there is absolutely no trash, no sand, that it is completely level, that no one interferes, that there are no trees, holes, lamps, and everything unnecessary must be meticulously removed. In addition to this, it is necessary to prepare a bunch of permitting documents, obtain permission from various regulatory bodies such as civil aviation, the Ministry of Defense, landowners, and a whole host of other people. And it's essential to check the drones beforehand to make sure they don't decide to fly off to Australia. <laughs> The drone show is actually quite similar to theater overall. Just like in theater, we have a test launch before the main event. During this, we check how the drones are working, whether everything is good, if the animation is hitting the space where it's supposed to be. So, there are a lot of things that need to be checked to make sure everything is just perfect, so that on show day, on day X, everything goes off without a hitch. And here it is, the moment of truth. The show begins. The drones take off and start forming shapes. The audience pulls out their phones and starts filming. Cars on the highway come to a stop, creating a traffic jam because everyone wants to catch a glimpse of the show. And the shapes start to gradually and slowly transform and evolve. And now the flower slowly and gracefully transforms into a beautiful butterfly. How can you tell if the show was a success? It's very simple. If the audience approaches you after the show and asks how they can set up the same thing for Aunt Anna's wedding, it means you did everything right. Drones are evolving faster than your phone charges. Today we already have drones with pyrotechnics, drones with smoke, drones with lasers, a bunch of different payloads. And the most interesting part, the interactive drone show, is when you can play various games using drones. Today it's Snake, but in the near future we might see Doom, Counter-Strike or Call of Duty. Friends, today you learned a bit more about drone shows, how they work, how they're created, and the people behind this process. Leave a comment about what shape you would like to launch in the sky at your drone show. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to hear more new stories about high technology.